Hey, it's Kamori, and today we're going to be making the Princess Peach dress from the official Simplicity and Nintendo collaboration pattern for Princess Peach. And I started by cutting the bodice pieces out of some pink satin and zigzagging around the edges to keep them from fraying. Start by sewing the two side front pieces to the front of the bodice. Next, we're going to sew the side back piece to the back piece, and we're going to do that for both the right side and the left side. Then, putting right sides together, we're going to sew the front to the back of the bodice along the side seams and along the tops of the shoulders. Cut the collar pieces out of some darker pink satin and apply some fusible interfacing onto one of the pieces. Putting right sides together, sew the two collar pieces together along the top. Turn the collar right side out and add an additional line of stitching to keep everything together. And now I'm going to add a little bit of a zigzag stitch to keep it from fraying any further. Putting right sides together, sew the collar onto the neckline of the bodice. Now we're going to move on to the bustle pieces, and we're going to start by cutting them out of the dark pink satin. And along the flat side, we're going to do a rolled hem, and then around the remaining raw edges, just going to go around with a zigzag stitch to keep it from fraying. Sew the dart in the center of the bustle closed, then we're going to fold the edges and sew them in place, following the guidelines marked on the pattern. Gather the bustle along the top and putting right sides together, sew it to the bodice. Take the peach skirt panels and zigzag around the edges to keep them from fraying any further. Then we're going to sew all of the panels together along the side seams, and on the back seam we're not going to sew it completely shut. So just sew it to the position indicated on the pattern so that we can insert the zipper later on. Take the skirt band pieces and putting right sides together, sew them together along the side seams to create two large loops of the dark pink fabric. Take the two dark band pieces, putting them right sides together, and sew them together along what will be the bottom of the skirt. Turn the loop right side out and zigzag the two raw edges together to keep them together and also to keep them from fraying. Putting right sides together, sew the dark pink band to the bottom of the skirt. Then we're going to gather the skirt and attach it to the bodice. Next, insert an invisible zipper into the back of the dress. Make the lining using the same process that we used to make the outer portion of the bodice. For the fabric, I'm just using some pink broadcloth that I had left over from another project. And at the bottom, we're going to go ahead and press the edge inward so that we can sew it onto the skirt and have the raw edge enclosed later on. Putting right sides together, sew the lining to the bodice along the sides, along the neckline, and back down the other side. Turn the bodice piece right side out, then we're going to sew the lining to the front of the bodice along the sleeves, and sewing the bottom of the bodice lining to the inside of the skirt. Now it's time to move on to the sleeves. Start by taking the sleeve piece and I zigzag along the top and along the bottom. You don't need to worry about zigzagging the sides because we'll do that later. Then we're going to sew a loose stitch along the bottom and along the top so that we can use that to gather the sleeve later on. Fold the sleeve band in half and zigzag along the edge to keep it from fraying and to hold the two sides together. Putting right sides together, gather the bottom of the sleeve and attach the band onto it. Use the guide to cut a piece of elastic for each sleeve. Insert the elastic into the channel created by the sleeve band, then sew it into place and zigzag along the edge on either side to keep them from fraying. 
Next we're going to fold the sleeve in half and sew along the side. Sew the sleeves onto the bodice and with that Princess Peach's dress is done. For more cosplay sewing tutorials please subscribe and thank you very much for watching.